This video shows how to use Segger's JTrace Pro Trace Probe and Segger's Ozone Debugger to do streaming trace and live code profiling and code coverage on the microchip SAM E70 explained board. In order to see this in action, you need a JTrace Pro Trace Probe from Segger, a SAM E70 explained board from Microchip, a 20 pin 50 mil Cortex debug and ATM connector, Ozone, Segger's standalone debugger solution from the Segger website, the JLink software and documentation pack from the Segger website, and an Ozone sample project for tracing on the SAM E70 device from the Sega Wiki. First, fire up your soldering iron and solder the Cortex debug and ETM connector to the bottom of the SAM E70 board. Next, make sure you have the Sega Ozone debugger and the JLink software installed on your machine and you downloaded the Ozone sample project for tracing on the SAM E70 device from the Sega Wiki. Connect the JTrace Pro to your computer via USB. Connect the JTrace Pro to the debug and ETM connector on your target board via the 20 pin ribbon cable. Finally, connect one of the USB connectors on the explained board to your computer to power up the board. Now, navigate to the Ozone sample project for tracing on the SAM E70 device. Double click the Ozone project file to open it in the Ozone debugger. Open the following windows. Instruction trace, code profile, timeline, disassembly, call stack, and console. Now, download and reset the example program, which consists of a simple while loop which is incrementing a variable. Program execution will halt at main. Click resume and the example will be running on the target. JTrace Pro and Ozone are now delivering live streaming of trace data rendered in real time. Let's look at some of the trace windows in more detail. Ozone's code profiling features assist users in optimizing their program code. The code profile window displays CPU load and code coverage statistics selectively at a function, C source or assembly instruction level. Code profiles can be saved to disk in human readable or in a CSV format for further processing or for documentation. Ozone's code windows display execution counters as well as code profile statistics in line with the code. A color coding scheme is used to indicate source code lines and machine instructions that can be removed or improved. Let's halt the program execution which will update the instruction trace window. JTrace Pro and Ozone are able to trace program execution on a machine instruction level. The history of executed machine instructions is accessible via the instruction trace window and, used in conjunction with the call stack window and the timeline window, gives the developer additional insight into the program's execution path. The instructions are grouped by their corresponding C function and the associated source code line. Ozone's timeline window visualizes the course of the program's call stack over time. It provides advanced navigation features that allow users to quickly understand relative and absolute call frame sizes and positions, which make it a great profiling tool as well. Notice how the various windows are synchronized when stepping backwards in the instruction history. This concludes the introduction on how to use Segger's JTrace Pro Trace Probe and Segger's Ozone Debugger in perfect combination to do streaming trace and live code profiling and code coverage on the microchip SAM E70 explained board. This solution provides ARM Cortex developers unlimited streaming and live analysis of their application trace data. Thanks for watching.